Welcome to the Correct DRS User Tutorial, DRS Basics. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you the basic DRS tools you would use to fix dust and debris. For this example, we will be using the wheel clip. Media for this clip is available for download from the support portal if you want to follow along. To open the DRS tool, first make sure the tool palette is open. Then click the DRS tab or press the F2 shortcut key. The first thing we'll do is fix the debris on frame 6. DRS has four basic modes. You should select the mode that best fits the motion in the scene near the defect you are fixing. Low motion is for scenes with little or no motion. You can choose this mode by clicking the low button or using the shortcut key 1. High motion is for scenes or regions with greater motion. You can choose the setting with the shortcut key 2. Hard motion is for scenes where there is so much motion it becomes blurry. Its shortcut key is the number 3. Replace mode is slightly different. Instead of automatically looking at the surrounding frames, it allows you to set a reference frame. To use this mode, use shortcut key number 4. We'll be using low motion most fix, but you can limit it to the past only or future only. You would want to do this if, for example, the same defect was present on the next three frames as well. When this is the case, DRS will use those bad defect pixels on the other frames when it constructs the fix, which will give a poor quality result. By restricting it to past only, DRS will know that the good images are only in the past. DRS offers three different selection tools, a rectangle, a lasso for freeform shape drawing, and a bezier for complex shapes. You can cycle through these selection tools using the Q key. We'll start with the rectangle tool. To make a fix, draw a box around the debris by clicking the top left corner and dragging to the bottom right. DRS will start processing when you release the mouse button. I'll switch to the lasso tool to get the larger defect. Click and drag to draw the lasso. You need to drag all the way around to the starting point to close the lasso and begin processing. For smaller defects, you can use the quick select. By pressing the D key, DRS will draw a small rectangle where your mouse is. This can save a lot of time and mouse strokes if there are lots of small dust and debris. To review the shortcut keys we've just discussed, you can use 1, 2, 3, and 4 to select the DRS motion mode. Q key cycles through the selection tools, and the D key performs the quick select fix wherever your mouse is. As I've been going along, DRS has auto accepted each fix as I make the next one. If I select this last defect, I will actually go into a pending state. If I continue along as I have been, the fix will auto accept. But until I make the next fix, this fix is in a pending state. By pressing the A key, I can manually reject the fix. Now I'm going to repeat that fix. By pressing the G key, I can manually accept the fix before moving on. To review, when a fix is in the pending state, you can manually reject it using the A key or manually accept it using the G key. Now I'm going to move to frame 5 and make another fix so I can show you some more neat things you can do in the pending state. I'm going to switch to the rectangle tool for this next fix and select the dark defect on the woman's arm. Press the T key to toggle between viewing the original defect and the fix. This can help you get a reality check on the quality of your fix. You can switch motion modes while the fix is pending, and DRS will redo the fix in the new mode. In a pending mode, you can also apply overrides. Overrides allow you to make small changes to the fix that was automatically made by DRS to perfect it. In this case, our automatic fix was quite good, but I'm going to show you the overrides on it so you can see what they do. For example, you can adjust the density of the fix by selecting the density override using the 7 key, then use the up or down arrows or the mouse scroll wheel to increment the value. If you hold down the shift key while you change the value, it will jump by a large amount. Hold down the control key to jump by a smaller amount. You can also use overrides to move the fix, rotate the fix, change the border size, add grain, or change the opacity. Each of the overrides can be accessed by a shortcut key. 5 will access Move Over and Move Under. 
6 will access rotate over, rotate under. 7 will access density. 8 will change the border size. 9 will add grain. And 0 will change the opacity. Now I'm going to accept this terrible looking fix so I can show you the history review and undo tools. I'm introducing the history review and undo tools here in DRS. But the history review feature includes all changes made in DRS, auto filter, paint, and scratch. By pressing the W key, I can toggle display of the original values. A blue outline will indicate the regions that have been fixed. In this case, the box is much larger than the actual fix area because I applied the move and rotate overrides. If we go back to frame 6, you can see the outlines closely match the lassos that I drew. This display of the fix regions will stay on as you navigate through the clip until you toggle it off. Now I'll return to frame 5 so I can undo that bad fix. To undo the fix, I will use the Get Original Values feature. This will return the pixels to their original form before any fixes were made. To get back the original pixels in a region, click and drag a rectangle using the right mouse button. Just like when you make a fix, you are now in a pending state. This time, if you reject by using the A key, you will reject the Get Original Values, which means you'll go back to the fix. You can also accept with the G key going back to the original pixels, or allow it to auto-accept with your next action. We've now covered the basics of using DRS Low Motion, as well as the History Review. High Motion is very similar. Stay tuned for other tutorials on how to use Hard Motion and Replace Mode, as well as Sticky Overrides, for even more advanced results.